In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the Hornady Lock and Load Classic Reloading Press. In this video, you'll understand the basic operation of the press and get a highlight of some of its unique features. In this video, we're going to load some 30 out 6 rounds. And what I've started with here is some casives that have already been cleaned and lubricated. The next step is to select the appropriate die. In this case, I'm going to be using uh, a couple of Lee dies mounted in lock and load bushings. These lock and load bushings allow the user to quickly uh, install and uninstall dies and switch them over from, from one type or caliber to another. So let's see what that looks like. Installing dies with lock and load bushings into a lock and load press is simple. First I'm going to take the die which has this lock and load bushing and insert it into the press. Then I'm going to turn it an eighth of a turn and this this die is now ready to use. If I want to switch over dies I just turn the other way an eighth of a turn, lift, take the other die, turn it an eighth of a turn, I'm ready to go for the next operation. So over here I've got some 44 Magnum dies set up and I can just take the seating die for instance and install it into the uh, Lock and Load Classic press just that easily. So switching dies over between presses or even just between operations on a single press is made very simple and effective. So we're starting with clean and lubricated 30-06 brass. This particular brass is uh, once fired uh, Norma brass, so we've got primers that we need to remove. So the first stage that we're going to do uh, today is to install our sizing and depriming die. And we're just going to uh, go through these cases and do the sizing and depriming operation. Now you notice the lock and load classic press has got this tray here and that tray allows you to collect all of the spent primers in one convenient location. The next thing I'm going to do is to take a uh, primer pocket cleaning tool and to just quickly clean out uh, the primer pockets. I like to blow each one out as well. The design of the primer catcher on this particular press makes it easy to remove Toss your primers in the garbage and then reattach. So for the last uh, stage in case preparation, uh, prior to priming and charging the case and then uh, seating the bullets finally, um, I'm going to take this chamfering tool which is included in with the uh, Hornady Lock and Load Classic Kit. And I'm just going to take the case and apply a very light chamfer to the inside and to the outside. This will help uh, ensure that we don't damage the bullet when we seat it and also ensure uh, reliable chambering of the rounds. I'm also going to blow that off just to get any of the uh, brass out of the inside of the case. So you don't need much, it's easy to overdo it there, but it's a, uh, it's a good idea. When it comes to priming with the Hornady Lock and Load Classic Reloading Kit, you have two options. One is to use the handheld priming tool which I have a separate video demonstrating on ultimatereloader.com. The second option is to prime on the press and you can do this one of two ways. You can do it while you are uh, depriming and sizing in one step but in this video we're demonstrating cleaning the primer pockets so we're going to uh, prime as a separate step. So what we're going to do is to raise the, the ram we're going to take a primer, in this case we're using CCI bench rest primers, we're going to put it into the cup and then as we lower the ram we're going to just insert our case and then push forward. So there we have a, a primed case uh, ready to go. And we'll just continue with this process, placing the primer. Of course we want to place it, face it with the, uh, the cup facing down and then uh, We'll just continue one by one with these, individually placing the primer 
and inserting the case as we lower the rim. Now this is a nice way to prime if you have arthritis or hand fatigue, repetitive stress, that kind of thing, because you can use the leverage of the press to prime. I should also mention here that uh, Hornady actually has an attachment for this press where you can fill a primer tube, kind of similar to the concept where you'd have with the, with the, uh, the AP Progressive Reloading Press, uh, where you have a primer tube that collects a number of primers, and then it can automatically dispense a primer into the cup each time. So maybe I'll uh, do a follow-up video demonstrating that, uh, the use of that accessory. So uh, it is very easy to, to remove the arm, so I'm going to prime one more case here. And then we don't want to always have that in the way for our other operations, so we can just lift this guy right out. And the press comes with uh, two, two cups. It comes with the large and small primer uh, cups so that you can prime a small and large rifle as well as a small and large pistol as well. Another nice thing that comes with the Hornady Lock and Load Classic uh, reloading kit is the seventh edition Hornady handbook of cartridge reloading and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load with uh, Winchester 760 so we can see here that in this bullet range we've got a maximum load of 59.1 grains so I think uh, the starting load is 47.9 so we'll probably do about 53 grains, somewhere in there. So now that we've worked out our powder charge, I'm just going to charge each of the cases with our load. In this case, we're, we're loading Winchester 760. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the sizing and depriming die and to install our, our bullet seating die. And now we're just going to continue to uh, seat bullets here. So using the uh, Hornady Lock and Load Classic Press, it's evident that it's a, a, a quality piece of equipment. And I particularly uh, appreci appreciate some of the features that they've built into this press. The uh, lock and load bushing system is excellent. Uh, the on-press priming uh, works great. And uh, it uses any of the generic shell holders. I've used both Hornady shell holders and Lee shell holders on the press. It's compatible with any uh, 7 8 by 14 dies. It's a great press. And uh, ultimately, because of the lock and load bushing system, it has uh, some of the positive benefits of uh, both the single stage for uh, consistency, repeatability, and accuracy, and also a turret press where you can rapidly switch uh, between different uh, dies in your reloading process. And then it also has the added benefit of if you, if you load for pistol as well or do high volume loading on a lo lock and load AP progressive press, you can uh, use the same dies on both presses. A universal decapper, for instance, is, is a good uh, example of a die that you might want to use on, on both presses. So I'm very happy with this press, and it's definitely a quality piece of equipment.